Grace can move mountains of guilt and shame. Grace can flood your days in the desert with streams of living water. Grace can bring you through the fire of adversity without the smell of smoke being upon you. Grace is the unmerited favor of God. You can't buy it. You can't earn it. You can only receive it because God is so glad to give it. Grace is an ocean without a shoreline. Grace has no limit. God's grace will give you a new beginning. God's grace is greater than your sin. God's grace is greater than all your faults and failures. And it's the only thing that can truly heal you. God's grace comes to even those that have not been faithful. God's grace has comes to even those that have really not walked the way that they should walk. And yet His grace and His mercy is extended to every single person that will believe Him, that will come, that will humble themselves under His mighty hand. So often we think that God is only interested in the quote, good people. The people that have it all together, people that never make mistakes, never give in to temptation. If your performance is good enough, then you can expect God's goodness. The truth is, it's just the opposite. When you blow it, God doesn't turn away from you, He turns to you. His grace comes looking for you. Jesus told a parable about a shepherd that had a hundred sheep, but one of them went astray. The shepherd left the ninety-nine and went looking for the one. What was that? Grace came looking. You can be high on drugs and grace is looking for you. You can be working in the wrong kind of place, grace is looking for you. You can be cheating people, dishonest, no integrity, and God will leave the 99 and come after you. You can be discouraged, depressed, about to give up on life. The good news is, right now, grace is looking for you. You may have made mistakes, you're not where you want to be in life. You could easily sit on the sidelines. Let the accusing voices convince you that you're all washed up. Nothing good is in your future. No, right now, grace is coming to you. God is saying, I'm not mad at you. I'm madly in love with you. I'm not holding anything against you. I'm not keeping a record of your mistakes. I'm not even interested in your past. I'm interested in your future. Friends, it doesn't matter to God where you've